At some point this summer, you may find yourself somewhere your grill isn't with an itch to cook up something tasty. So in this project, let's hack an empty drink can into an itty bitty barbecue that'll help get you the fix you need and put some sizzle on those links one glorious dog at a time. We're all familiar with the term life hacks, but this summer the guys at Mike's Hard Lemonade asked me to help put a refreshing twist on it with what they're calling Mike Hacks. Mike Hack, basically a life hack that makes any social occasion more awesome. I just made a bitty cue that grilled the largest garlic and onion bratwurst I could find at the grocery store, so there's a good chance it'll handle your hot dogs as well. For this project, I chose to use this large drink can, which you can see is nearly a pint and a half, so it's pretty big. To get started, we'll need to cut the can completely in half, which you could do with a pair of scissors, but whatever you use, the goal here is to split the can cleanly in two. If we make some small angled cuts about half an inch from the edges, we'll be able to bend the aluminum over, forming a small ledge. I was able to get a nice clean crease with the help of a popsicle stick. Let's do the other side the exact same way, then trim down the pointy parts so they're not quite as sharp. Now let's focus on making an awesome and removable cooking grill. I made mine with a wire coat hanger and I'll give you the template for free. Just check the description for the link. Now let's use something like a pair of wire dykes to cut the hanger at the neck, then find a way to remove the protective coating. I used a piece of 60 grit sandpaper and got the film removed in under a minute. Now let's go ahead and use the template to measure and carefully bend the wire to shape until it looks something like this. Now we've got a removable grill that spring loads into position when we're ready to start cooking. Alright, it's time to add the legs. I picked up a couple of 4 inch U-bolts from the hardware store. We'll need to go ahead and remove the metal plate so we can use it as a template on the inside of the can. This way we'll know exactly where to poke the holes we need and they'll need to be just large enough to accommodate the open ends of the bolt from the inside. Now the plate can go back on and if we bend the two legs away from each other, you can see the plate locks down on the can holding it securely. Now if we do the same thing on the other side and replace the nuts just for decoration, you can see we've just created a half barrel barbecue ready for grilling. Now we could stop here, but let's take it to the next level by adding a top. I found these 1 inch utility hinges fit perfectly between the gaps on the grill, so let's poke some holes where they fit the best and use something like these number 4 round head machine screws to fasten them together. The bolts are 3 eighths of an inch long and you can see I fastened the hinges with the barrels facing inward. Now let's finish up by adding a miniature handle. This piece is called a strap loop and I found it at the hardware store as well. And after fastening it near the edge with some number 8 machine screws, our bitty queue is completely finished. It looks like it's ready for grilling, so let's see what it can do. Now because our grill is completely removable, it makes it nice and easy to add some coals or whatever else you use for grilling. You can see the wire grill snaps into position and is held firmly in place. So let's go ahead and add a bratwurst to the coals and close the lid to get it sizzling. And check this out, it's even got a built-in loop for hanging your tongs. Now after about 10 minutes, you can see our brat is perfectly grilled, sweating out juices and ready to satisfy those cravings. I nestled this one into a golden brown bun, added some condiments and thoroughly enjoyed it off camera. Now there are all kinds of variations you can make to this idea as well. I tried using some smaller cans as a base and added some wire lath to form a makeshift half barrel grill, which you can see does a pretty nice job as well. So now you know how to turn your empty drink cans into a sexy and satisfying miniature barbecue. So go ahead and get your grilling fix just about anywhere you want, because now you can. Well that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Thank you, Random Citizen, for being a part of this project video. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and thanks for being a part of this project. Did you like it? Let me know in the comments because I appreciate you and I care about what you have to say. Now check this out. I got this bitty cue that we just made in this video and I'm thinking there's really no better use for it than to give it to one of you. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna choose somebody who's on my mailing list and ship this off randomly in about a week. So make sure you're on my mailing list. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna sign up. It's free and it's really just an excuse for me to send you things and give you updates and notifications. So keep checking back because I put out a new video every five days. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I've got some more random hacks of science I don't think you're gonna to wanna to miss.